Magic Minerals is here for you. It's a mineral powder, foundation, corrector, and concealer all in one. And we're gonna wear this all day long. I feel like somewhere it said it lasts up to 12 hours. Oh, it does, lasts up to 12 hours. Oh, we're gonna wear it for 12 hours. You tell us something does something, we're gonna try it. Hello everyone and welcome back to This Is Real Life. I'm your host Sherry and today for this Skincare Saturday video, we have something supposedly amazing. It's been out for a while, but I just saw it at the Walgreens and so I decided to pick it up because we've been doing so much in the way of like morning rituals, nighttime rituals with our creams and our serums. We're hoping that all of these fine lines are getting diminished. Well, what do you do in the meantime? You're waiting for your creams and your serums to work, but you know, you still got to get up and go to work and all of that. What about your wrinkles then? Well, guess what? Magic Minerals is here for you. What is it? Oh, it's a mineral powder, foundation, corrector, and concealer all in one. So there you go. You just do your skincare rituals in the morning and the night, and then you put this on and you're good to go. You are wrinkle free because it says Magic Minerals by Jerome Alexander for flawless looking skin. The all-in-one self-correcting breakthrough. Helps cover and conceal. Pimples, blemishes, scars, birthmarks. Micronized mineral powder, fragrance-free talc, compact with mirror, lash extending mascara. It's a bonus. So we've got our face and our mascara and then we can just walk out the door. This ultra fine micronized mineral powder is so smooth and light, it naturally diminishes the appearance of age spots, dark circles, and uneven tone without caking or getting caught in wrinkles. Now I will tell you what, I'm like reading all of this and with the tone that's like kind of making fun of it because I don't think it's gonna work. But I will say this, I don't use foundation and I very, very lightly use powder. The reason I don't use foundation is because, and you probably are like, well, you haven't found the right one. Well, first of all, I've never my whole life used foundation. An extra layer of makeup on my skin just doesn't seem, I've tried it like a couple of times. It just feels cakey to me. It doesn't feel like my skin can breathe at all. And then also, gosh, within like two hours, I feel like everything has like folded and settled into all my fine lines when I wear foundation. And I don't find that as much when I wear powder only, just with foundation. Now everybody's like, ah, oh, powder, you shouldn't use powder as you age. It dries out your skin and that gets in the fine lines. Well, for me, the opposite is true. I feel like foundation is the thing that cakes and creases. I don't like it. I don't use it. It does get caught in my wrinkles and I think it makes my wrinkles look deeper because like the combination of foundation and then like just dirt in the air, dirt, <laughs> I don't know. I feel like it gets in so deep and then it almost makes it look darker in there and deeper and I don't like it. So this will be interesting. It does say it has unique built-in color correctors that hide skin's imperfections instantly. Pink that brightens pale, dull skin, giving a glow over the entire face. Mint for ruddy, that's not a very nice word, for ruddy complexions, discolorations, blemishes, or marks for all areas of the face to camouflage and even out overall tone. It has lavender, helps camouflage yellow and sallow skin complexions. And it has yellow, which covers discoloration under the eyes, helps cover skin discoloration and bruises. If you have bruises on your face, you have bigger problems on your hands. <laughs> to use Magic Minerals, apply liberally over your entire face with the included stubby brush. After applying, buff vigorously to set the makeup for a flawless look. To use lash extending mascara, place brush at base of lashes and gently sweep upward. That's it. So, whoa, that's it. 
opened. My plan is for today, I am going to put this on and this alone. This plus the mascara, whatever's in this package is going on my face. And I bought this at the Walgreens and I want to say it was not cheap. Like it was $19.99. It wasn't $9.99. Like it was $19.99. I know that this is an older product. There are plenty of YouTube reviews on this product already. I didn't watch those reviews at all. I don't know if people loved it or raved over it because you know what? I don't care about what anybody else thinks. I care about what we think and how stuff is going to work for us. So I looked up on the YouTubes, you guys are gonna die. I don't know if anybody has done this sort of extensive research before, but I looked up Jerome Alexander. This is Magic Minerals by Jerome Alexander. So Jerome Alexander demonstrates the best way to apply your foundation. We're gonna follow his step-by-steps and we're gonna wear this all day long. I feel like somewhere it said it lasts up to 12 hours. Oh, it does, lasts up to 12 hours. Oh, we're gonna wear it for 12 hours. You tell us something does something, we're gonna try it. So let me get some scissors for this and then we'll watch the video and make sure we're putting everything on properly. I got some scissors. I also changed out of my robe because it was getting damn hot and I put on a black tank top because one of my other things about makeup and powders and whatnot, if you're dressed already and you're trying to put your makeup on, everything falls onto you. We're gonna see how much fallout this has on the black shirt. Stubbly brush. Ooh. So here it is. All those colored dots that we, you know, read about. There they all are. Oh, we also have a little sponge, like it says. Voila, little sponge. And then our mascara. Great. Okay, Jerome, let's get to work. To show you how to properly put on going to show us how to properly put on our foundation. Get the best look, get the best coverage, and get a look that's going to look natural. Put a little on the forehead. Little on the forehead, little on the nose, cheeks. little on the cheeks. So he says, now this is for his primer, but we're going to do it exactly the same way. I'm going to use my little Ipsy sample of Porefessional um, because he said his was a silicone based primer. I feel that's like what Porefessional is. Okay, there we go. We put it in our hand and we dab, dab, dab it and we put a little on our forehead, a little on our nose, a little on our cheeks, and a little on our chin. I've already washed, I've already moisturized, I already had all that shit on already. My skin was prepped and ready to go. So we've got our silicone based primer. What's next, Jerome? Under the chin. Under the chin. And a little on the neck. Okay. Eyelids, under the chin, and a little on the neck. Okay. Eyelids, under the chin, on the neck. Great, great. Basically, he should have just said, rub primer all over your goddamn face. Could have saved us some time. Putting a film on the skin. Okay. The foundation or the powder is not going to go on to the skin. Uh -huh. It's gonna go on to this film. Therefore, it's never gonna streak, okay. cake, or turn orange. He's still rubbing the primer in on this chick's face. He's still paint. doing it. And now he's comparing our face and our makeup to a wall and paint. You put a primer on first. You put a primer on first, sillies. Oh my God, he's still rubbing it into her face. Now he's doing another product. Looks like concealer. I thought this was just gonna be powder only. Why do I need concealer, Jerome? If this shit you just sold me right now says that it conceals, what does it do? Corrects and conceals all in one. Why do I need another concealer? We're fast forwarding, we're ignoring that. This better have been about the powder. Oh, here we go. This is our hero product. Hero product, we got it. He takes the brush and he goes round and round like this. It's so sheer and so fine, it actually becomes a mist. Watch this. And he goes like this. Becomes a mist. We go round and round. We go over the forehead. Over the eyes. Over the eyes. Under the nose, under the eye. Okay, again, just all over your face, basically. Under the neck. He's still going for it. It is very fine, like very fine. Put this on and then your face is ready to get the rest of the makeup. Guess what, Jerome? We're not doing any of that shit today. We're just testing this. So he's swirling and then he's just like putting this everywhere. On the ears. I'll stop when he stops. Okay, now we're going to put some color. Oh, okay. Stop. Okay. Well, let's see. What do we think? Am I flawless? 
are my tones corrected? I don't like this brush at all. I feel like one of my brushes would be best, but I mean, I feel like I look a little bit more even, but also my Studio Fix makes me look even as well. But this says, it's gonna last 12 hours. I don't know what that means. Am I gonna look fresh as a daisy for 12 hours? I know normally you'd want additional color on your face, like you'll put your eyeshadow on, you'll put your blush, you'll put your whatever, but I didn't want anything else on our face because we only wanna see what this looks like. I wanna put it through the ringer. I don't want something else on there like a blush or a bronzer and then at the end of 12 hours, my face looks cakey, but lo and behold, it was the blush or the bronzer and it wasn't this. We're gonna give it the 12 hour test. It's not supposed to set into our wrinkles. It's not supposed to feel cakey. It's not supposed to crease. I mean, I will say dark spot right there, but guess what? My Studio Fix also covers my dark spot. Okay, now I'm just like going full out. I mean, it's so thin. I don't feel like it concealed my under eye. I think that's plenty. This brush is horrible. Okay, it's my skin flawless. Next, we'll use the mascara and then we are going out about our day. Oh, I took a picture of my face before without anything on, just my moisturizers and stuff. And then we'll take a picture of it now and then we'll check in throughout the day maybe. And for sure in 12 hours and we'll take an after picture and we'll see what happens opening the mascara. So I'll put that on, but let's get a close look. What do we think? Feels nice. I feel like I look kind of ghostly. It's it's one it's one color for all. There was no option for another color. This is the color you get, no matter what your skin tone. So there's that to consider because I do feel like maybe I need to put more on my neck because my face looks real white, real white. Look it. <laughs> Whoopsie, I'm going out of the house. I gotta go grocery shopping. Oh, but good news, there's nothing really on my um, tank top. I'm gonna be in the garage today, sweating up a storm, finishing up a DIY. So this is really gonna get the test. You say it works 12 hours, we're testing it. We're not just gonna go sit in an office and nice air conditioned place. That's not real life. We got shit to do. We got to run errands. We got to be out in the heat, rain, sleet, snow. So this better work under all those conditions, Jerome. Okay, I'm going to put some mascara on and then we're going to go. Okay, so I put two coats of mascara on my top lashes. I never put mascara on my bottom lashes. I will say that when you pull this out, look at, can you see that string? Yeah. So when you pull it out, look at my, what's the top of the component here. It's already really messy with mascara because every time you pull it out, look at how stringy. Hopefully by the end of this, it's not just run all down my face. I did get some on my eyelid, but I don't really care. I mean, it's nice. They're like long and extended, I guess. But whatevs, we're testing it. So that is it. I'm gonna go about my day. What you see now, should be what we see 12 hours from now. And I think, what time is it? Okay, it's 9.39. So we'll say 9.30 is when I finished putting it on. So we're gonna go all the way till 9.30 tonight. 12 hours, Jerome. Okay, this is my skin. Immediately after putting on the foundation, concealer, what have you, and I'm standing in the bright sunlight. So this is what it looks like outside. Okay, so this is check-in number one. It is 11.53. I have been to the Starbucks, to the grocery store, and I have put all of my groceries away. And now I'm going to get ready in my DIY clothes and head out to the garage to start a DIY project or finish a DIY project. And that's Bob in the bathtub. Mm -hmm. So we said 9.30. 10.30, 11.30. So it's like almost two and a half hours. Here's what I think. I think my face looks ghostly white. Now, we don't have anything else on, just the Jerome Alexander Magic Minerals Concealer Powder, you name it. It's this, and we have on the mascara. The mascara is doing good after two hours. I don't 
see any like under eye flakiness or whatever. I do get that in our normal makeup routine, we would make this look less ghostly white. We would add some, maybe some bronzer, some blush, some contour, what have you. But if you just wanted to like put this on because it's supposed to, you know, conceal, correct, whatever, whatever, whatever. If you just wanted to slap this on alone, like I did this morning, head out the door, run your errands, and think your face is flawless, it might be flawless, but you're gonna look like a ghost and your face is not gonna match the rest of your body unless you're super pale. That is the other problem I have. I'm not, you know, the darkest of skin tones, but I am fairly tan. However, what if you have any sort of color in your skin? Really? This is not, there are no color choices. This is it, this is what you get. One size fits all. One concealer corrector mineral powder is supposed to fit all. And I'm telling you right now, mm -mm, no. Unless you're super pale, if you have any, any sort of pigment in your skin at all, this is gonna be too light. Because seriously, look at my body, look at my face. They don't match up. So yeah. Sorry for all of you women who, you know, have from slightly dark to dark skin. Jerome Alexander is not for you, which sucks because what if it really does work and is flawless? That's like way more than half the fucking population can't use it. So there you have that. But yeah, after almost two and a half hours, I feel like... Let's get in. I mean, I see like under my eye, my very fine like wrinklies. I feel like it's set in there. I don't know, I feel like this looks way deeper. This one especially. And that's only two and a half hours. I don't know what's gonna happen in two hours. I mean, I'm fine with it right now after two and a half hours. It's just hell's a fucking pale. I feel like my forehead wrinkles. Like, I don't think anything looks not set in. I think it all looks as set in as my normal makeup that I wear. And this has only been two and a half hours. Yeah, I don't know. Let's take a picture. <laughs> Okay, I don't know, but guess what, Jerome? The true test is coming. While the day is beautiful and it's not like extremely sweaty hot outside, I'm going to go in the garage and do a DIY. We'll see how it holds up after that. And I'm gonna be in the garage for a while. So Jerome, get ready. Okay, so this is what, check-in number two. I have been outside in the garage for a while now. I finished up my DIY. Look, I didn't even clean up. I just came right in here for a check-in. It is 4.30. We've had it on since 9.30, so 2.33, 34.30, seven hours so far. Now, mind you, I have been out in the garage, but it is a gorgeous day, so I didn't sweat at all, like at all. So, what are we thinking? I feel like my forehead lines are on fucking point right now. Like. Shit's in there. The minerals have settled into those forehead lines for sure, 100%. Also, what what's going on with this? I feel like that's way worse. Could it be the mascara? Why do my eyes look baggier? <laughs> I don't know. Let's take a picture. I feel like I definitely look like I have baggier eyes than I did this morning. Maybe I am just forgetting how shitty I looked this morning. I don't know. But I have not been rubbing my face because I clearly... So I think that's just its natural wear. And I don't think it's concealing shit after seven hours. This is definitely... And you all know, like... I can't not move my forehead. It happens. And I'm going to have wrinkles. It's just like... Minerals, they're settling in my fine lines. Those aren't really that, come on, let's be real. My forehead wrinkles are nothing but fine. They're deep. Although I do feel like they're less deep when I don't have makeup on. But now it looks like I just started day one of, you know, laser beam or something. I don't know, this looks kind of deep. I don't know, Jerome Alexander. So far, nothing I'm seeing is looking like magic. This stuff has been on for seven hours, and it looks like it has been on for seven hours. But we have a few more hours to go, five more. So we'll check back in five more hours. 
Okay, so it has officially been 12 hours for our Magic Minerals by Jerome Alexander Wear Test. I don't know. The packaging claims it's supposed to conceal and cover blemishes, spots, fine lines, and uneven skin. It told us it would last up to 12 hours right there. So I tested it for 12 hours. I did a lot of stuff today. I put it through the ringer, got my mocha. I went to the grocery store, came home, put my groceries away, finished up a DIY in the garage, made a bunch of dinner, cleaned my kitchen, and then I sat on the couch. But right here in this paragraph, right here, Magic Minerals covers, conceals, and corrects all at once for a flawless look. I don't think I have a flawless look. I didn't think I had a flawless look five minutes after I put it on. I did think that I had a ghostly white look. To be quite honest, I felt like everywhere I went, people were staring at my face and not in a good way. And then it says, this ultra fine micronized mineral powder is so smooth and light, it naturally diminishes the appearance of age spots, dark circles, and uneven skin tone without caking or getting caught in wrinkles. Look at my forehead. Do we believe that last sentence? Seriously. I put nothing else on. I followed Jerome Alexander's makeup tutorial. We washed our face. We put moisturizer on it. We put primer and then we put the powder and we wore the mascara. Now the mascara I think is actually pretty good. It didn't flake or smudge, didn't do anything. I think it's actually pretty nice. The mineral powder on the other hand, yeah. It's been 12 hours and my face still looks super white to me, even though it also looks like I don't have anything on, which I guess is a plus. Like you do want it to look like you don't have anything on, but I don't know. It's 20 bucks. 20 bucks for this little compact, which is 0.42 ounces. You know, all those little colored dots that he claimed would pink brightens mint for ready complexions. Lavender helps camouflage those little tiny dots in there. I don't think they did shit. They literally look like decoration to me. I'm scratching this lavender one. Can you see I scratched that one? It does look like it's all the way through, but I don't know. I just think little tiny dots aren't gonna do anything. I don't know, 20 bucks, Jerome? I mean, you did get the bonus mascara, which I did like, but I would not pay $20 for this. No, no, no. Don't forget we got a brush, which is the worst brush ever. Maybe if I applied it with a different brush, I don't know. It still wouldn't take away the fact that it comes out super white. Who is this gonna match? I don't think it wears that well for 12 hours. I'm trying to like it. I really am because if we can have something that doesn't set into our wrinkles, that would be great. But I just feel like, <gasps> Yep, it's in my wrinkles. You can definitely see it. Okay, let's see. I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but if, <laughs> this is just really bad for me. <laughs> okay, let's focus on this wrinkle right here. I'm gonna spread it flat. <laughs> Jeez Louise. See the things I do in the name of wrinkle care and science and skincare Saturdays. Okay, let's focus right here. If I make that wrinkle flat, I can see in the wrinkle a line of powder that has collected in that wrinkle. I can see it. It's definitely in there. Oh, for sure. It is so, I wonder if I scrape it off with my nail. Not too bad on my little marionette lines, but definitely right here. <laughs> I'm gonna try to scrape. And my fingernails are dirty, so I was DIYing. Let's see. See that right there? That came off of my fingernail from scraping my line. So it definitely gets in the creases. But doesn't everything, seriously, if you put makeup on your wrinkly face, the makeup is gonna set in the wrinkles. So why would any makeup manufacturer claim that it wouldn't do that? It says without caking or getting caught in wrinkles. We just proved it was caught in my wrinkles, which then just makes it look wrinklier, darker. It creates like a darker, line in there because you've got makeup clogged up in there. I'm not gonna say it's the greatest. Number one, it's too damn white. 
way too white. That alone to me is minus. And again, can I put it on, get like a nice, even, like flawless canvas to layer on my makeup? Can I put bronzer on it and blush and all that stuff? Yes, yes I can. And I might try that tomorrow morning on the way to work, but it's too white. I don't know, Jerome. I don't think I'm a huge fan. I don't think that this does anything different than my MAC Studio Fix or any other powder that I've tried. And this was 20 bucks at the Walgreens in the As Seen on TV section. Really, that's where I found it. I didn't find it in the makeup aisle. I found it in the As Seen on TV section. I'm not a fan. And they just put a, a lady on here that doesn't have a wrinkle. And the lady that he was doing her makeup on this morning, she didn't have a wrinkle either. So of course it's gonna look smooth and flawless on people that don't have wrinkles. Nope. I give it a nope. Let's take the official 12 hour photo so we can compare everything side by side. Yeah, okay, what'd you think? Flawless after 12 hours? No. I mean, if you see this at your Walgreens and you want to try it out, see what you think. I think you'll be out 20 bucks, but maybe it'll work for you if you're super. Okay, so calling all my pale girls out there, stop by your Walgreens and get you some Jerome Alexander uh, Magic Minerals. Anybody that's not super pale? No. Don't even. Jerome, Jerome, Jerome. No. I'm not a fan of Magic Minerals. It makes me to look too white. It doesn't do what it says. I mean, hello, dark spot. I see you. I see you right there. I see you right there too. And I swear, I just think that my under eye bags actually look more accentuated. As the day went on, I think my under eyes got worse and worse and I didn't do anything to them. I didn't touch up. I didn't rub. I didn't do anything. It was this. It's all I had on. And I swear. These suckers right here, they're darker than even when I woke up this morning. I'm gonna say for me, Magic Minerals by Jerome Alexander, it's a no-go. I have not found the makeup that is going to replace anything that I already have. I'm looking, Magic Minerals is not it for me. So no, no, no. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. Ring that notification bell so you are notified of all of the Skincare Saturday videos that I push out, which is every other Saturday at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Be sure to share this video with your family and friends. And as always, thanks for hanging out. And now I gotta go wash my face. <laughs>